Shoutouts to L.A. Dar. I don't know if I pronounced his right, right name right. Last time I did this, I had the audio wrong. This time we have it right. So hey there everybody, Ninpalk here. We're going to be doing a tutorial um, for ukulele any percent with flight PC, which is usually the most competitive category. You may see that any percent has more runs, but most of those runs are the route of any percent with flight. Um, so any percent with flight is basically a um, yeah. This will also be on YouTube, by the way. Uh, I know you guys obviously watching see that, but I'm just pointing it out to chat. Um, but so the point in with flight is you need to get enough pages to get to the fourth world to get a pagey in the fourth world to get the flight ability. Any percent is kind of lame. Um, in a sense that you don't have to do that. Just kind of go straight mad dash to the final boss. But I should mention, I skipped a lag jump there. That saves about 10 seconds. But it's hard to do. And I'm going to show you here that you can get an extra life extender. Um, right here. It loses maybe like a little less than 10 seconds. So it's good to get when you first start the run. When you first start learning. It loses kind of like eight seconds, I think, maybe less. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I might talk to chat a little bit, which you can't see, which I apologize. Tail twirl, double jump, air attack, that's quack skip. You skip a cutscene, you just basically kind of have momentum and jump high enough with momentum to skip the cutscene where it thinks you triggered it, but you didn't. Um, you go here. And what we're going to try to do here, after a little bit of talking, is we're going to get the first page as fast as possible. Um, so what I should mention is, other than the lag jump, there's one other strat that I'll be doing. Well, basically two strats, sort of, that are a little less than optimal. But I'll explain the, like what the optimal strats are from this point on. Um, but I recommend just checking out the world record if you want the optimal stuff. This is kind of for the people wanting to just straight up learn. So we're doing that, save and quit. It's just basically tail toward double jump air attack to, towards his neck. It's pretty simple. We save and quit on PC because it's faster. If you're running on console, I have a tutorial for that on YouTube. It is completely different of a run. Um, but anyways, here we go. We're gonna talk to Trouser and he's gonna teach us the roll move. And this will be useful because, for one, it's really good for movement and it'll help with clips and stuff. But yeah, um, we got our first pagey and now we're getting roll. So this cutscene right here is unskippable, it's only a little bit though, so it doesn't matter. What we're going to be doing here is called Early Waterworks, also known as Ew, as you can see by my split name. Um, which is a great name by the way. What this does is it skips a quiz. So we're gonna jump here, pause, well, you wanna pause before hitting the acid. Sometimes it works when you hit the acid, but you wanna do this. This might work still. So we're gonna try it. Pause and, and switch settings at the same time. You want it on either faster or fastest or fast, because those will create the most lag. You'll notice the camera's kind of bad. Double jump, air attack back. To fix the camera a bit. If you're using manual camera, it shouldn't be a problem. Sometimes you'll clip in like that. That wasn't intentional, but it's worth noting that if you clip in, you have to save and quit. Um, so we're going to restart. Um, back in, Well, not restart, but we're going to save and quit to go back where we were. And this would be when you would generally reset, but if you're doing like a marathon run or something... You know, it's not too bad. You can keep you can keep going. It's not the end of the world. Whoops. So you wouldn't want to talk to him, obviously, but... You would want to do it, like, right there. Um, and then pause and press the direction to go to faster, fastest or fast. Okay, I didn't press them at the same time, so I just kind of unpaused. You'll see a little bit of lag when you know that you changed the settings. Okay, that was weird, so I just kind of unpaused because I knew I wasn't getting it there. 
This might work, so I might as well try it. Might as well. Go here. Do the same thing. Some, uh, whoops. Yeah, so, and if you fall like this, you're gonna fall forever and you also have to save and quit. So, although this would be bad if I was doing a run, I'm glad I'm kind of sh messing these up because it kind of shows what would happen. Both of those things you would have to save and quit. <clears throat> Unless you clip back inbounds in a sense that, um, where you, um, if you clip back inbounds, uh, like in a spot where you're not stuck, you can just don't have to save and quit. Alright, that was too late. Turn around the camera, roll, jump, pause, that might be too late. So I'm gonna... It takes time to do the lag, so I prefer if I do it late to just... If I think it's too late. If you're like below this, you know you've made it. If you're below this and haven't touched the acid. Okay, so you could double jump here. Yeah, so, um, there was a question in chat, which I imagine a lot of people will be asking this. You press start and the direction change at the same time. Um, well, we're gonna split. Um, so, we'll show that more in the run later on. But you would pause and switch the, the setting at the very same time. Um, the timing's kind of precise, so sometimes it's hard to end the menu. Um, you might see me mess that up a few times. This is archive clip. You can get it with roll, but I'm not going to do that. You just kind of tail, you kind of air attack into it, and you get it. Now, what I should mention is if the pagey flies off screen here, you want to get this jingle because if it flies off screen without the jingle you'll be kind of locked in and this won't open up even if you go to the jingle after so coming up we're going to talk to bendy you may wonder well why are we talking to someone well this person's going to give us some st uh useful tonics that are gonna it's it's kind of a new game plus sort of thing so i recommend going to speedrun.com if you don't have these unlocked already we're gonna quit baller, and our roll will have will take less stamina. Um, and we're gonna start the trouser to learn glide. Now, um, so that's gonna give us more roll. There's gonna be another tonic we're gonna switch to later in the run. All right, here we go. Go. Double, double, double jump air attack here. Um, now over here, the preferred method I do is I kind of hug the wall and just tail twirl it. Um, sometimes it doesn't work, but if this enemy comes here, you can kind of use that to get a little bit of boost. He might hit you, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Now there's another method that I'm not good at, so I'm going to try to show it. It's um, it's a roll method. It's a little faster. It's basically a roll buffer. I am not good at it though. So, bear with me. I think this method's harder, but some people prefer it. You just kind of press A right when you do that. When you'd fall. And you can make your way up.
This method is hard in my opinion, because you can't really... You can hug the wall, but it's not as easy. Um, but this is another method that I'm terrible at. You gotta kind of press A when you when you get out of the roll. So, um, I'm terrible at it, as you can see. But I figure I should show it, because it's another method. You kind of just, I think it's the jump button that you would like kind of, just kind of press when you, I think spamming the button is the best way, but you kind of get the point. I almost made it there, so I'm not going to do it. We keep going here. There's a little bit of movement tricks you could do here. We jump on this book. I, I, I overshot it, but you would jump on here, jump, roll jump, and then there's a couple ways you could jump on this and the crystal. Or you could jump on here, jump on here, jump on here, it doesn't really matter. Depends how you do with the rolling. Tail twirl, double jump glide. You don't really have to tail twirl. Everything in this game is geometry, so we can um, get on that. Now I'm going to explain wind skip a bit. So, wind skip, normally you need uh, an ability to get through this. But that can those little cannonballs there. But we don't need that if we roll. Um, another thing we could do is we could tail twirl double jump glide and this is the easier way of doing it but it's slower. So I'll show that again on the way back. Double jump glide. You could also air attack but it's more risky. Not as risky as the roll strap though. I want, I want you to keep in mind I have a load remover as you could tell. Um, if you have live split you could easily get that when you edit your splits. I just air attack here to get the button. Um, then we're gonna land on this little switch here to open the world. The reason we open this world is we need a move from here to open up the fourth world to get flight. Because our ultimate goal is to get one PG in the fourth world so we can uh, basically have enough to get the flight move. Okay, so here, what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to collect a bunch of quills and collect two pages. So, for tribal stack, we drop down here, collect this, <clears throat> and if you did lag jump, you have to collect one less quill. So what I kind of do is I just kind of collect all the ones I can, and like if I don't miss any, I'll skip one at the end. That way, like if I miss something like that, like, I just try to collect them all, but if I miss one and it's seriously out of the way, you want to roll, 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 jump, jump, jump there. But sometimes it's better to just do this. Because it also saves stamina. But rolling and jumping is obviously faster. We go over here, get these few quills. Keep in mind, if you're doing lag jump, if you're not doing lag jump, there's two quills that you can get at the end as backup. So, and like missing them is not the end of the world. This quill route is a little slower. Normally, you would talk to the pagey first before um, getting these. But it doesn't matter too much. Basically, this guy's gonna be like, hey, you need my pieces. Um, so, we're gonna collect three pagey pieces. You could get the quills while doing this, but I prefer to just not have to focus on both of that. You get all three of these. Hold left, get this. And... Keep in mind, I, I probably mentioned it already, but this is a PC route. Console is 95% different. So that's a real little jump you could do there. If you miss it, you could just do this. And then we're gonna keep rolling. There's another jump you could do here that with a roll jump, sometimes hard. You could jump, jump, roll like that. Oh my gosh. 
I'm used to roll jumping there because that's what I usually do in runs. But when you mess it up is what gets you kind of tilted. So if you don't have lag jump, keep in mind you would have 51 quills by this point. But if you have 50, uh, that's f fine because there's a backup quill. So I'm gonna show. I'm, I don't like if I miss one like that. I usually just get the backup. So you see, I have 56 here. This is how much we'd have if we did lag jump. Do this. This is the backup quill I was talking about. And then we go up this this area. And since we missed that one, I'll show the other backup, which you wouldn't get. This is just strictly a backup. Is that one right there? Then you talk to Trouser. You know, learn a couple moves. Just make sure not to learn sonar shot. That's the main thing that you don't want to do. So scroll down, get slurp shot, and then you're gonna get buddy slime after that, so you can get into Kashino and get a Pagey before that. And because it'll have faster strats in the final fight. So sold out. As soon as it says sold out, you can return to hub. And I would personally split there. It doesn't matter where you split as long as your your split is th after the final missile in capital B. Um, but you also can get an auto splitter where <clears throat> the load remover also has auto splitting where like you can split on a number of pages, split on a number of loads. Loads I wouldn't recommend when you're first learning because if you mess up, if you have to load again, it will just kind of be weird. Like if you save and quit more than once because of a mess up. Jump on here. You don't have to jump on here, but then you roll, jump, skip that cutscene. That normally we would have triggered these two cutscenes beforehand. P. P. G. I. I said E. Normally you'd want to drop down after I to get the E. So there's another cutscene that we have to jump over. Um, so we do this. What I prefer to do here is either don't hit the barrel, or if you hit the barrel, there's a butterfly in it and get that one so you don't accidentally get that instead of the thing. Put out the fire, get the pagey. Basically, this pa this run consists of 12 pages because in console it's 11 because they don't need Buddy Slam to open up Tribal Stack. Uh, and you know, there's one you need to spend on Tribal Stack. And there's 10 you need to spend at Cashino. You need to get one in Cashino. So it's a 12 PG run. Um, I'm going to go this way. There are two routes here. You can go left first or right first. I prefer to go right first because there's a fast strat with Blasto that I'll hopefully be able to pull off. Um, um, there technically is a way to practice it. You just won't be able to like really practice it the way like where the page will shoot into you. What you want to do is you kind of want to glide here, do this, and it'll shoot right into you. You save and quit. If you um the re the points before that is mostly movement and skipping cutscenes. Yeah? Okay. So, here is... I'm streaming. I know. But, um, anyways. This part of the run, um... You would do... Um... You would just kind of go here. And then, there it is. Basically, if you miss that Blasto thing... Sorry, I got sidetracked. Lol. Um, if you miss the Blasto thing, you just jump, get it, then save and quit. So you could do the roll strat again. You might fall here. It's not the end of the world. You lose a little bit of time, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Now here, we're going to want to get in this. Get a little angle like this. I think that might be a little too late, but we'll see. Do the same pause and change quality thing.
Yeah, that was too late, of course. So, kind of hug the corner. Do the pause and move thing. You'll clip right there. Jump, pause, options. You don't have to do this, but it's much easier. Switch quality, hold the jump button, and you'll be able to be much higher. So let's try this. You can get up this easier. Now what I prefer to do here, there's plenty of movement things you could do with like roll and stuff, but what I prefer to do is just keep it safe. Is just try to land on this little outside part of the red pipe here. Tail twirl, double jump, air attack, glide. And that is gate skip, which skips the second quiz. It takes getting the hang of, but it's definitely worth learning. Because you skip a quiz, which normally you'd have to memorize some questions, which is also RNG. Um, we go left. And we're gonna just keep jumping, because jumping and rolling is slightly faster. Coming up is another trick. Um, this one is called Camo Skip, because we're gonna skip the Camo Cloak move. This move, this trick can be a little difficult at times. So here's hoping we can get it relatively fast. Just kind of go right here. You don't have to do this movement. It's just to land on this little, this light right here. If you fall like that, get on like the highest point of this poker chip, and then try to get on this part. It's a little hard sometimes, but it works. Jump on here. You just kind of jump. That might be too... I might have messed up there, but it's worth trying. Hold forward after you do the pause thing. Got in. Now we slam the switch, it'll open up. And now we're going to enter the area. The timing for that is somewhat lenient, but it's hard to get the right, like, timing at first, but you'll get the hang of it. Thing is, if you want to practice it, um, you'll want to save and quit before you slam the switch. Now coming up is Cashino. There's two routes. I'm going to go the slow route because it's easier and you can get a life extender. If you're lucky. I'll explain the faster route, but the faster route saves about 20 seconds, but it's a lot harder in my opinion. So right here, there's a door right at the beginning, but we're gonna skip it by jumping up on this little like black lining or dark gray. Land in the middle of the plant, which is kinda hard to do. kind of awkward but you'll get the hang of it double jump glide jump over the, the cameras or the camera's vision rather keep rolling you can jump if you want go a little faster now keep in mind we don't have buddy bubble in this so it's a little bit different than casually of course buddy slam And basically we're going to try to buddy slam the barrel. If we if we get high enough, we can get this life extender, which will give us an extra health, which will help with the final boss and the trick right before it. Uh, you might fall take fall damage there. Okay, so here's worth mentioning. Uh, that left uh, slot machine is what you do first, and you do that right slot machine for the optimal strats. It's a little hard to do those fast, so I recommend going with this route first when you're first learning. Hey. 
Next, do here. Twirl, twirl, as soon as you land on it. And then we're gonna go towards the roulette. Sometimes you get hit by the bee stuff there, it's pretty annoying. Now, it's worth noting, you wanna pay attention to how many quills you have. Uh, because, so like, add 60 to that counter. Add 60 to what you see here. Because the quiz might say, oh, how many quills do you have? So, you know, it's worth keeping track of, just in case. We're, of course, going to go with 69, lol. I'll make a lol funny joke. And now, we're going to talk to the banker, who we don't really know who he is, but he has a pretty nice mustache, so... We're going to wait for him to fork over a PG, and then we'll, we'll return to hub after that. Kashina. Next up is EDS. We're just going to hold the speed up dialog button because here's Trouser coming up. And we're going to take our way to roll. This is how you would normally get camo from Chris to from gate skip if you did it which loses like probably 30 seconds because you'd have to go back so we got to do since we don't have camos we got to do this to get away from it and roll and what's kind of convenient here is vendi is right here which it is good to have athlete as like if you're not good at EBS. but ideally you want to equip super slam this will help with the final f the final fight uh, for doing some things faster. Um, I'm gonna talk to Trouser. He's gonna teach us flight, and now once we have flight, we can go to the final boss. Um, so this trick is called acid clip. You could do it with an air attack, but you have to take damage. This is a good another good part of having life extenders. I prefer buddy slam. Kind of get in this corner. And if you die, it's unfortunate. But do this glide to fix the camera. Get up here. You kind of buffer your thing. I did it a little wrong, but the idea is you just want to get to the final elevator door right over there. I might not make it though. Yeah, so we didn't make it, which is why this would be a good thing to have athlete. Um, which, what's kind of good about me messing that up there is I could show you a backup um, for out of bounds. It's not that much faster for a backup than just doing ask clip again. But here's a backup coming up. I just need to get some stamina back in a little bit. So there's another spot that you can get out of bounds, and this is where you would get out of bounds in any percent. Um, just kind of do some platforming here. So that's the spot where we're out of bounds, but I messed up. This spot right here is where we clip through, because it just doesn't exist as a wall. to regenerate stamina. If we touch the ground, it's going to kill us. Likely, if you're not in the acid. 
And this is just like a backup. It's really not a good backup, but it's a backup nonetheless. Want to fly under this? And if that would have triggered the t the text, but I just pressed the button again to trigger the door. All right, it's quiz time. So the quiz answers you're gonna to want to look up to know them, but some of them are personalized, like how your time's doing. That includes loads. Um, ideally, you just want if you know the answers, you just don't want picture questions because those lose three seconds. So that's a biased question right there. Incredible capital B. Um, this one. See, like, so it shows you the picture for three seconds. So that loses some time. Basically, as you saw, if I answer it before the five second mark, uh, I get two spaces, which is what you want to do. Uh, because it will make you have to answer less questions. So that depends. If you got the one at the beginning, and if you got the one at Kashino, you know, those were buddy for like boosters. I happen to get two. First movie taught you was Tail Twirl. There might be questions like how many hybrid towers pages you have, how many pages you have in total. Pages in total will be 12. Hybrid tower. I don't think it asks about hybrid towers, so don't worry about that, but it might. And in that case, it would be 9. Whoops. This is phase one coming up. We're on the final boss now. I'll try to explain tricks without dying. Um, so the idea is we just roll around the stage until the bees disperse. We'll see him throw a little tantrum when we're good. The bees will disperse. Do that. Wait for his cane to drop. Buddy slam him. You maybe get a few hits there to make it sure you get the two cycle. You can get two cycle without super slam, but it's just worth picking up super slam if you're better at EDS. So you could tail twirl in there, do that, and that phase is done. The auto splitter has the option to skip this. But I guess it didn't do it, so. Wanna get this item. Kinda you kinda can just guide towards him. But the ideal thing is to stay in place. You don't want to take damage like that, obviously. Stay in place and do that. But if you just kind of follow him, it makes it easier for the corplets to not get hit by them. If you get too close, he'll fly away is the thing. So you just kind of want to keep a little bit of distance. There's that phase. Alright, time for phase three. Um, phase three is kind of, not an auto-scroller, but it's like you just don't want to mess up a cycle, mainly. Because you can't really speed it up too much other than just getting the hits quickly. Um, one thing that you could speed up for this first part is you want to be in the middle. Uh, so just kind of dodge the shockwaves. I'm not sure if this is the case, but I think when you jump over it, he gets up immediately after. So wait for the fourth one, the one after he slams on his back, and then like that. You, of course, you wait for his cane to drop. Um, this neck, these next few phases will be a little tougher because this one he's gonna drop some bees. You're going to want to hit him as soon as possible with these bees. He's going to get hit by him. I'll show it in a second later. Um, those bees can be n not nice and push you into the acid and stuff, but... Ideally, you want to hit him before it, but I went too close to him. I'll see if I can get the hit 
for the fourth part of the phase th three, phase three, because this part he doesn't use bees, but instead he uses additional shock waves to try to take us down. Now, last part of phase three coming up. If I get one more thing, and after that will be the final phase. Um, So that's what happens if you mess up. Which I was just unlucky there. Um, what the hell? Okay, that one should have hit him, but I don't know why it didn't. Okay, so this is not good actually, because I'm pretty low on health. And if you die, you have to do it all over again. So now, final phase. The idea here is you want to lead the missiles into them. I'm going to show you the easy way to do this. So when he shoots that, go over here. Fly. And I'm going to show you the way I personally do it, because I think it's a little faster and it saves energy. Wait for it to come on the screen. And jump towards him. It's a little more risky because you're more likely to get hit by it. But then this strat would just be, you do this three times and then he's gonna start moving around. The idea with this thing is you're gonna want I don't know what it is about him moving around. Sometimes he moves this direction, sometimes he does the other direction. But the thing is, you want to get a double hit. And what that means is you get one hit. Like, that, that those two I hit didn't count as two. Because he has invincibility frames shortly. Um, But you can hit one and then just hit him again shortly after. Okay, so we have one more hit, so hopefully I don't die here. You want to kind of go counterclockwise, like the opposite, well, the opposite way he's going. So. Just kind of guide him into him. He goes faster this phase, like much faster. Okay, that's unfortunate. So, because I messed that up, um, I'm going to review these phases just to show when time is. Um, The only reason I died there is I was trying to show some risky strats um, with the bees, and sometimes it's hard. So as you saw, I um, stopped there. It isn't ideal to do that. But... Um, I just noticed it went back to phase. No, wait, shit. Um, I noticed it went back to quiz on accident with the splits. So that was unfortunate, but whatever. So I prefer to follow them so the corplets don't get me. But I kind of stop when they're not near me.
it's kind of sad that we died um, there because it extends the tutorial, but it gives a little review, I guess. Um, but after this, you know, auto scroll phase three, um, it's a bit slow, but you know, it is what it is. So after the one where he lands on his back, you get to the middle. Because if you're in the middle, you see he doesn't do as much travel distance. Here's what you'll see is the bees follow you, but if you're lucky enough they'll disband. Sometimes they'll hit you here, and you can fall in the acid and take a bunch of damage, it's really unfortunate. Um, because the game doesn't intend you to do it this way, they make you want to disperse the bees before you hit them normally, if you're playing casually. So yeah, you just kind of wait for his invincibility, in, his invincibility frames to come off. If he lands on you, that's a problem, especially in the bees phase. Um. that and now we're gonna do the missile phase again it's a little bit of review on the f easy way well not easy way but fast way of doing this get it to turn around right when you see it's on the screen jump towards him you kind of have to react a little fast there and be prepared to jump forward So the thing is, this boss is beatable without most of the moves we have in this game. All we really need to beat him is Tail Twirl and Glide. Um, but any percent also gets Roll. And Flight makes this fight a lot easier as well as Slurp Shot and Buddy Slam. So you know. This is what I mean by a double hit. Um, but now I need stamina. So it's a little unfortunate. Because we have to do this. Kind of have to juke these missiles. Here's the thing, you want there to be one left, but it doesn't always matter. But you can get it, if there's one left, you can get it easier. Time. It'll, uh, you can set it to auto split at the end. Um, obviously that was a terrible time, 16 minutes behind my PB. But, uh, I don't know why that phase too golded. In fact, I should probably just do that um but anyways that's um that's that and that's the ninety percent pc tutorial if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments or join the ukulele discord that you can find on speedrun.com slash yl and we'll be happy not just me but the community will be happy to answer questions and I don't mind all the mistakes I made because it kind of shows like if you make a mistake what kind of stuff goes on You kind of get an idea. So if you have any questions feel free to leave down in the big comments And I'll see you guys on the next one. You don't have to let this cutscene play. doesn't matter um, And if you submit your time, 
Um, make sure to include game time, like in game time and full time, real time. So, thank you all for watching. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Or maybe I won't, you know, maybe you just came to learn this, but thank you all for watching. Peace out.